We have all been misled by ourselves about what this actually is in terms of a physical projection. For the Earth, my friends, is concave. It is inside out as a geode. Oh, most certainly. The reason being, it happens to be the path of least resistance. It has to be the easiest way in which evolution wants to go. It likes to take the simple route, my friends. The simplest is usually, if not always, the best. Tesseract, my friends. Tesseract is where it's at. For heaven is above, the center of the earth, the center of the galaxy is unified. It is one. It is the same. But the projection of that one is what we call the universe. It can go in so many directions. Up, down, left, and right. Diagonal, interdimensionally, in and out. The wormholes is what connects us to these paths of light. It's what makes the flow. It's what gives us might. And so, when we turn into this power, when we turn into this flow, what we see is that heaven is above and hell is below. For that is the edge of the universe that's below our feet. It's, it's in the tails, it's in the mess. It's what relays the truth about the fists. And that there's a relationship between everything, these intervals, these pathways that connects the flow. And so tune into your thoughts and see that we're in a room, within a room, within a room, within a room, within a room. For Plato was right about the cave, the allegory, speaking, hey, we're just looking at shadows this entire time. The truth runs outside. But as soon as you go outside, there's more to explore. Geode after geode, room after room. So this is all a theatric hall unfolding before all of us. Hear the music? That's the now. It's right here. It's all unfolding before you. We just have to tune in. Tune, tune, tune. Get that piezoelectric crystal in the radio going the way it's supposed to go, and it brings forth creation before you, right here, right now. It's always been here. We just get trapped in this external projection of what it is. It's spherical, my friends. It's all spherical. Light that we see bouncing off the surface of our environment. That's these 2D planar reflections of everything around. That's electromagnetism refracting through the eye, getting inverting, coming back around. Inversion, yes. That is the secret. That's why this is all inside out. We're in a sphere. We're in a bubble. We're in a ring ring upon a ring, electromagnetic induction, sending energy from planet to planet, solar system to solar system, connecting the flow. It's intrinsic. It's simple. Yet, because of our preconceived notions, we throw it outside of ourselves and we look elsewhere. When it's right here, it's all right here. All creation is right here. Every person in existence, Earth and elsewhere is right here. Every planet, every star overlays that of Earth. It is one and the same. It is whole. It is continuous. It is infinite. The edge of the universe is our imagination and where it can go. As we expand it, so does the universe. So let us imagine the world we want to create and let it grow, let it expand and feed the energy of curiosity and awe into it, for that is the fuel that drives the engine of the now. That is power. And that strength will give us the inspiration, the confidence, the drive to transform this world in the most profound aspects that we can even begin to mind on. So we're just in a room, guys, a hologram room, projecting our reality before us day in and day out. Everything we hear is just information being sent into the experience for us to process and ultimately for us to liberate and realize that this is all us. This isn't separate. The external, the internal is one and the same. It's just the separation of the self which creates this dissonance. But if you can remain here and participate and enjoy and play, choose your own adventure page by page flowing from now to now, 
with love, with gratitude, humility, courage, faith. Yeah. You can be that Jedi, you can be that knight, that wizard, that ninja, whatever you want to call, whatever your game is, flow with it, take it on, be it. Because with that, we can transcend the most epic parts of creation, which is right here. And just taking full hold of the conscious and unconscious and subconscious mind and letting them all do their thing when they want. I'm going to choose now. I'm not going to choose. I'm just going to let it be. For when we force, we create. And so let us be conscious about that creation we put into motion. When we let just flow. When we let just go. When we let move forth with ease, with grace, for that is the path of least resistance. What is simple? Ooh, you feeling some, some, some hindrance right there with moving forward? Well, let's shift gears. Let's spin around and go that way and see how long we can flow until resistance comes forth because those appear in our reality for a reason. And when we align to that awareness, there's just grace. We're dancing in a song that's unfolding like a musical symphony, for it is. It really is. This is Beethoven's masterpiece right here. This is Van Gogh at work all day, all night. Da Vinci creating the unparalleled inventions in the now that have seated right here in terms of where we're going. Tesla laid some foundation. Let us work upon it. Alan Watts spoke truth, so did Gurdjieff, so did many. Let us align to that power right here, for this is that free energy coming forth, and it wants to explode, and then implode, and then explode again, and then implode. For there's times where we awake, and there's times where we sleep. It's all part of the flow. And for within this whole of this universe, the pathway is one of remembering and forgetting. That is the cycle of time, my friends. That is the cycle of time.